Hello Grade 11s. Today we continue with circle geometry and we introduce the concept of a tangent and the theorem which deals with tangents from the same point. We cross over to John who gives us the axiom we will be using. An axiom is an established or accepted principle that doesn't need proving. This one is useful to us in the next theorem. A tangent is perpendicular to the radius of a circle if it is drawn at the point of contact with the circle. So in this diagram, OX is perpendicular to tangent WXY. When we think about this axiom, we could also relate this to a bicycle. Here we see a bicycle on the road. The road is indicated in red and we can see clearly that the rear axle is directly above the point of contact of the wheel with the road. In other words, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. If we were to put the bicycle onto a slope and draw in an arrow representing gravity, it is clear that the bicycle is being pulled downhill. That's why we don't have to pedal going downhill. We now cross over to John, who will take us through the theorem. Theorem states that two tangents drawn to a circle from the same point outside the circle are equal in length. What sort of diagram will we need? We need a circle with center O. We need two tangents from the same point outside the circle. So if we make a point P outside the circle, we can draw the two tangents to the circle from this point. Remember that a tangent to a circle can only touch the circle at one point. We will label the points where the tangents meet the circle as A and B, and construct OA, OB, and OP. Have a look at the diagram now. Do you think that you can prove that the tangents are equal in length? In other words, can you prove that BP equals AP? I hope you looked for congruent triangles. Look at triangles OAP and OBP. OA and OB are equal radii of the circle, and OP is common to both triangles. The third reason for congruency is that radius OA is perpendicular to the tangent AP and OB is perpendicular to the tangent BP. So angle OAP and angle OBP are both 90 degrees and equal to each other. This means that the two triangles are congruent and so their remaining corresponding parts are equal, and so AP equals BP. As I read through the formal proof for this, see if you can follow the logic and reasoning of the proof on the diagram. We are given circle center O with tangents AP and BP. We construct AO, BO, and PO. What we are aiming to prove is that the tangents AP and BP are equal. The proof is based on congruency. In triangles AOP and BOP, AO equals BO because they are equal radii. OP is common and OAP equals OBP equals 90 degrees because the radii are perpendicular to the tangents. The triangles are congruent because they are right angles, hypotenuses, and another side are equal. So AP equals BP, as they are remaining corresponding sides of the triangles. Thank you, John. We now need to apply this theory to a problem and we're going back to John and Kanya to take us through a problem. Given a circle center O with tangents PA and PT at A and T, prove that one, OAPT is a cyclic quad, and two, that OAPT is a kite. 
can we identify any information we have about OAPT? OA equals OT because they are equal radii of the circle. Yes. OA equals OT. What about the theorem we have just proved? Can you remember it? Um, tangents to the same point outside the circle are equal. Very good. From that theorem, we can say that AP equals TP, as they are tangents to the same point P outside the second. The other information you should identify is that OA is perpendicular to AP and OT is perpendicular to TP. How does that information help us? How do we prove OATP is cyclic? We know the angles at A and T are 90 degrees each. Together they add up to 180 degrees, so the quad must be cyclic. Yes, let's look at it again. A and T are 90 degrees each, so they add up to 180. So quad OATP is cyclic. For OATP to be a kite, you need two pairs of adjacent equal sides. We have that already. OA equals OT, equal radii, and AP equals TP, as they are tangents to the same point P outside the circle. So they are equal as well. That was much easier than I thought it would be. Well done, Kanya. It is obvious that you have been learning your theory. Remember to do the questions in the task video at the end of this section. You will also be able to learn more about circle geometry on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s.